Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next setup is the um the most expensive setup. I I don't know because you know the previous one was 600 ish ringgit and this one costed uh 1006 ring not 1006 ring 1600 ringgit when I bought it because I bought it in Japan and it costed like 42 thousand yen so darab empat about you know 1600 ringgit which is cheap because uh last time i checked online you know the the ones that they sell in malaysia it will cost about i think 200 2000 and 300 ringgit which is expensive this particular model this is the older version voice life touch there's a newer version voice live voice live touch 2 which is way better and easier it has it has uh, functions that will be discussed later on. Okay, um, this particular thing, um, it's very handy because, well, basically it's the it's the it's uh, it's not it's not a vocal effects thing. I wouldn't call it that now because, um, well, Voice Life basically, well, TC Helicon basically gave it a a name for this thing. I think, or someone else gave it a name, but whatever. The name would be a vocal designer, which totally makes sense because it has like, um, despite it, it looks like it's very simple, you know, it has six effects, but uh, each effect, like U, I put micro mod and FX, you can you can change F, uh, this FX uh, to other, like there are a few, let's just, you know, hard tune style. Okay, hard tune style has like 16, one second, so anyway, 12. Sorry, seal up. And transducer, hard to use, uh, transducer style. So yeah, transducer style has 16. Yes, this one has 16. So you can just like have a combination of hard tune, hard tune and um, transducer. Trans transducer is the, um, you know, the, um, the radio sound, the old radio sound or the, um, the grungy old speaker sound or you know halo when you bunyi those kind of sounds and hard tune would be the audio auto tune functions like you, know, like you can have um okay say hey hey i'm just gonna change this hard tune to something whatever uh, it could be anything else oh my god just look at that it's so awesome yeah i know oh, blah 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, so that's that's uh, FXU and U mod. Oh, I'm I'm not sure if the eh, style style I think it's for style. Okay, so la 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 la. Is it? Am I? Are you fake or ni? I'm doing ni. What's that? Doing ni? I'm lead level level style. Oh no 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 level. Hey. Am I doing it? I'm. Am I doing this right style? Hey, la 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 la. I don't know why. It's, it's supposed to come out. Hey, hey, wait, keluar lah. Asal tak ada. <laughs> Darn it. But it's it's actually a cool thing. I guess I have to change um to my usual. Um. This is the Reaper setup. This is um. If if you've been to my gigs, this is my. I think this is Mother Father. Mother Father, Stampede, Maha. So it's like a combination of all three because the harmony would change. Snow in the rain, made it go back home. So that's the, you know, same key harmony. And this is Kahadapan. Good job! I guess, I think that it's a bit off, but I'm going to adjust it later. This is uh, nothing. Good don't dang as well. It's like. Yeah, either way. But three and four is about the same. No different actually. It's just, you know, T is f number three is for backup in case I accidentally change these. This is the paling bahaya sebab paling banyak effect. So this U mod thing, I'm just going to mute everything else. U mod, sorry, micro mod thing is it's neat. Shifters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's use number three and, and, and change. This one, because it's safe to change. Yeah, that's uh, that's a sound. That that slight sound is gonna increase the level for you to hear it better. Yeah, that's it, my precious. Wow, 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 wow.
So yeah, those are a few. Just gonna not use that, not save that, because it's gonna be troublesome. Uh, there's reverb, and you know, each each effects has a few settings. At most, I think it would be wait, 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 jangan, 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 jangan. Style. At most, it will be this one. Lah. I think reverb has the most amount of um, effects, effect types. So yes, that's reverb. Don't change, don't change. No, no, just, yeah. If you want to save it, you can just like press, press this one. It's going to store. So that's the effects bank. Yes, I forgot that word, bank. This is reverb. It's been a long time since I've, you know, practiced my vocal cords, you know, just too many holidays. Never mind. So that's uh, the effect section. Yeah, you can just, uh, the harmony, you can just, uh, maximum can only be four, lah, this one. Can only have like four maximum, what do you call it? Yes, settings. And, and you can, can change, change each setting, setting like it has, has um, you can, can change, change this to manly or less manly, like, uh, wait, I think gender, yes, gender, this is female, and this is male, bro, deep voice kind of thing. I mean, the, the pitching would be the same, but it's just like make, making it more male or more female, so I'm, just, I'm not going to change that, just going to, okay, put that back again. The delays as well. It's, it's just very fun, basically. But, uh, you know, you have to be aware of um, feedbacks in this thing. Because um, usually if I use this, when I use this, I would use it with a monitor. I mean, if anyone were to use this, you should always have... A, you should use... Um, what do you call it? In-ear monitors. Because... Or else the, the monitor... Because the monitor is quite loud at the base of the stage again so it's going to get into your mic and it's going to make feedbacks so that that's why most of my gigs tak sah tak ada feedback mesti ada feedback because of this thing you know because and you have too much effects like right? this one the reaper one that's a lot of effects and i have to like reduce the the input volume here there just have to reduce everything you know it's it's quite it's still annoying but i i i've i've gotten around to you know adjusting it on the fly still learning though it's still very very hard to do okay i'm just gonna go ahead and do a simple loop just for funsies um because you know it's just to show how how the looping works difference between this thing and the the loopy one is you cannot you cannot um you know un you cannot mute or unmute certain loops because they 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 you have layers of them but at the same time you have there's another option the shorts option this one is the loop option so there's like it, uh, the maximum amount of seconds that you can record is 25 seconds i think wait 30 seconds so yes a uh, baki would be there's this this one seven meaning it's loop number one and you have seven other banks you can fill in so it's gonna play so it's gonna copy to the next loop which is the number two loop that's that's how you change between loops so it's just like the next one would add and you can also copy this one a copy and go to the third one so the third the third loop will be the same as the first loop and it won't be the same as the second loop because just like the third loop for to press hit it it will press once just tap it's going to copy to it's called going to copy the same third loop to the fourth loop. But if you you know press like uh, the kind of oh sorry, 
Tekan lama-lama And A copy Meaning you can copy the second loop To the fifth To the fifth spot Like so Or you can copy it to the fourth spot You know, just replacing it Stop that So, and then you can record, you know A new one So yeah, that's the And you know, it counts in Counts out One, two, three, four There's a count out Count in and count out But the problem with um, using this With a band is um, The metronome It doesn't have a metronome doesn't have like a timing Tempo timing that you can follow you know, because you have to get used to looping, you know, uh, when to press uh, this record button, when to press the play slash loop button, you know, st stopping the previous loop and starting a new one. So you have to get used to that at first. So there's no, you know, there's no count in or count out because um, unlike loopy, it has, uh, once you tap one of the circle things, it's going to, you know, blink. And then before you get to the, you know, it doesn't record whatever you're saying pri prior to, f before it reaching the top. And then when it reaches the top, it starts recording, you know, Parma. I'm just trying to make things understandable here. So that is the looping um, concept of TC Helicon Voice Life Touch model version one. So the second, the second model, which is funner and way better, because this is already good and awesome. And the second one is, uh, the great thing about the second one is, as, as far as I've t tried, you know, I tried Isaac's thing. He bought it because he saw mine. It's just like, ah, damn it, never mind. Um, the second one is, it has the loopy function, meaning it has like nine keys. N nine, like this, this thing, I did nine, just cause song, no, it doesn't have any writing whatsoever. And basically, meaning it has like nine, uh, banks or loops that you can fill in and you can just like mute and unmute certain loops just like loopy which is which makes it better lah. but that thing costs like 3,000 ringgit so if you want to spend you know just splurge on a very good um, looping system I guess uh, the voice life touch 2 is very very recommended or oh, it also has um, a tap tempo tempo thing that, you know, it helps, you know, there's a blinking LED light that says that here's that, that's the tempo and you should follow it and you can follow it. So that's the benefits of buying Voice Life Touch 2 instead of buying this one. But this one is just as awesome because I've, I've gotten used to it. I'm not gonna, gonna change it as well. Um, okay, another few functions that I'm gonna touch uh, is the loop, uh, sorry, shots function. Shots is, um, again, because it doesn't have a tempo thing, so it's kind of hard to use this short function because uh, you can individually record one, two, three, four, five, just like this five banks, and you can record individual loops. But uh, because it's hard to, you know, without tempo, it's hard to record, just gonna try. So it's 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 quite kind of crazy, but you can also copy like do the copy function and copy like the first one. Just place it on the fourth. It's gonna. This is um, during, if we were to just press this play button, it's going to con continuously play the loop until you press stop. But you can also, if if you did, you know, if it's stop, you know, like like current, like right now, you just press tap it, and it's going to you know come up sounds like. Yes, yeah, so that is um, that 
shots. But another another very very fun thing you can do with this shots thing, you can have like a um, spontaneous an, an impromptu keyboard of some sort. Are you? Um, I I've tried. Um, you know, from watching Kimbra's two-way street live session, I just figured out how to you know make it like a keyboard-ish thing. So here's a, a test run or something like that. I've, I've tried this previously. I think I might get it right this time. It's going to redo, redo. I'm just gonna redo everything. Example of using it as a keyboard. I don't know if you've heard of that song, it's uh, The Hanging Tree from Walking Jay. It's not my kind of thing. So yeah, that's a temporary keyboard thing. Um, also, because the each loop is sh very short, as you can see that. So you can have like another 25, and you can change it. This is a uh, bank six to ten, it's bank six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it can have up to 25, 25 banks. Because that's a fun thing about shots. But you know, it's kind of leche because if you want to. Hey, don't. Um, because uh, you can only play like five banks at a time. Like you cannot press two. Yeah, that's that's another bad. A lot bad. It's just like you cannot press two buttons at a time. You can only press one. Just press one, and yeah, you can change the banks. You can also copy from one bank. Like number one can copy to six. So uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, Another neat thing about this thing, if you want to pursue it, <laughs> I guess. And oh, yeah, there's the talk button as well. The talk button, basically, what it does is, it's it's neat. It's just really neat. Instead of you know, if you have this is reflex, and if you need to talk to people, as in Manusia. Manusia, you know, to the audience, instead of Muting each and every one of the effects, you can just like press talk. So that's what it does, um, amongst other things. The kind of is going to go to um, what do you call it? Tuner. Yes, it's, that's the tuner thing, thing of magic. It's a tuner, and you can also lock this screen. You know, you don't, don't you don't want to people to mess up with the things. Like I think it's three and five. Yes, that's lock screen. So you can just, you can still. Hey, you cannot lock. You cannot use that. Okay, I guess that's what it does. You just. 
You can change banks, but you cannot change, you know, whatever there is yeah. in here. You can change uh, la la la. You know, because the one thing that I hate about myself is I accidentally would save, you know, just the the kind sini lama and just automatically save. You know some different settings to this one, so I'm just gonna hate myself for that. So the this lock screen also helps, but what really really helps would be the sleep screen. Wait, no. Oh yeah, let's unlock. Okay, the sleep. Just tap. This is the home button. That's what it, they call it. It's the home button. Just double tap that. So that was TC. Oh, before I forget, so many things to explain. This is the headphones thing. So if you don't want to use a speaker, you just want to, you know, use it for your own personal pleasures. You can just use headphones. You can just adjust the volume here. But the second, the voice life touch two does not have this function, because honestly, this is, you don't need this. <laughs> I don't see the point of this at all, unless you want, you know, if you want to be cheap, and y well, you don't have an amp or anything. You can just like plug in your headphones here or plug in, you know, a portable speaker here. It's going to be like a mini thing as well. But you need to power this up. You, you cannot power this up with batteries. You need a a power adapter for this one. Is a you can put in a uh, aux line, auxiliary auxiliary line. You can even plug in uh, your guitars, but your guitar won't have won't have effects, lah. Meaning, if it goes through here, it won't have any effects unless it goes through this one, which you have. This is an XLR cable. You can use this as a as an effects thing. I j I just realized upon taking that off, I could I didn't you you didn't hear anything that I said. Well, basically, um, that was aux cable, and um, you can you can use it as a guitar effects as well. If you know if you're keen on using your fingers. To change effects because you're playing the guitar and then you want to take your guitar, you take your hand of the guitar and then change. Just let change do gala. But as a pedal, as a pedal effect changing thing, you know you can record loops with the pedal and change uh, effects with the pedal. But that pedal costs about three hundred ringgit, I think. So yeah, if you want to be expensive and fancy and use it for guitar as well, you can buy that pedal. I don't know if it sells in Malaysia though. I tried finding it. You have to like order it online or something like that. So if you want to use it as a guitar pedal, you can just uh, have a quarter inch mic convert to XLR and put it. You know, just plug that in there. It also, um, it also has a guitar. Have I? S I, I think I've told you that before. Never mind. There's also a MIDI keyboard punya to where you can change the you know you can change the harmony instead of this because it's quite definite and it's quite a bit auto auto tunish you know so if you don't want it to be in, you know you have it also has like presets harmony presets so it doesn't have you know much variation to how you know how you want the harmony to go so if you want to like have your own harmony that you can adjust to with a midi keyboard then there's a midi keyboard midi upper cable plug Somewhere in there. I'm gonna show you, but yeah, that's how it looks like. That's the MIDI keyboard thing. That's the pedal foot switch. It's USB to update drivers. There's a guitar plug-in. The aux. You cannot see the aux. That's the tiny thing. That tiny little hole. That's the aux cable. This is the output input um, adapter thing. This is um, if you've seen me, you know. Have you seen Kimbra's, Kimbra's uh, T C L icon or whoever who uses T C L icon? You know, they're going to. They have the capability to just snap into um, the mic stand, so you don't have to like. It it's it is its own personal mount, so you don't have like to buy a new mount for it because you can just like there's a hole for the the mic stand to masuk. So that's that's neat. That's very neat. Okay, so that's oh, oh ah. So that's uh. DC Helicon for you. Yeah. 
I'm going to move on to the next and last um, item on the list, which is this very, very intricate, is that even a word? Um, a very fancy gadget of looping, which is um, Ableton, what's the name of the thing? Launchpad, um, BD keyboard, M Audio, Axiom MIDI MIDI keyboard, and Ableton, which I will show later. Yes.